Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how you export files in Affinity Photo. So what we have here is the last tutorial on uh, emulating infrared. And so I have it saved as an Affinity Photo document, which means all of my settings and everything will be saved. But say I wanted to have it in a different format and export it out into the internet. So what you can do is come up to the box with file and come down to export. Now this is the key command for it and you're brought up with this dialog box and so there are all these different formats. So there's PNG, JPEG, GIF, TIFF, PSD, PSDF, SVG, and EPS. So there are all these different formats and you can click on each one and have the different settings for each one to be working with. The most common and most widely used is the JPEG format. So um, I'm going to keep, you usually should keep the size and keep quality. You can keep all of these settings. And notice the file size is pretty big, but even a nice trick is to say bring it down to like 95 and see how much over half of the file is shrunk down with just a very small change in quality. So if you are um, constrained by file size when uploading to a certain uh, website, you can take the quality down a little bit and sacrifice a little bit of quality for a lot of file size. So that's a just a hidden trick. But you're going to hit export here and it's going to bring you to all of your files. You can name it something and it will be exported and that is how you export in Affinity Photo. Now this is for more of a uh, posting thing. Uh, you don't really export when you're saving a file because when you save it you save it as an Affinity document and it saves all of your settings like all of your adjustments and everything. So this is for more of a posting thing. But uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorials.